Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking Sultanicals. You voted on this video. So I did poll you guys on Instagram. I asked you to pick a brand. And then once you picked a brand, I asked you to pick the product. <laughs> so per your request, we are going to be talking about the Sultanical Sprung Coil Boosting Styling Jelly right here. And then because they do suggest to use this with it, we are also going to be talking about the Frizz Wiz Curl Defining Leave-In. So everything that you're seeing right now is the result of the demo that I did yesterday. So if you're interested in seeing how these products work on my hair, then just keep watching. In typical fashion, you know, I always try to make sure that I give my products the best shot possible. Um, I did keep it in the Sultanicals family, so I did prep my hair by shampooing with my Shea Ayurvedic Butter Shampoo. Y'all know I love that stuff. Great beginning to a wash day. I did use a Sultanicals deep conditioner, but I'm not going to tell you what I used because that's going to be in Self Care Sunday. <laughs> but go ahead, comment down below. Let me know just based on how my hair looks. What do you think I used? Just tell me. What do you think I used? It's one I haven't used on the channel before. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So I started off with the Frizz Wiz Curl Defining Leave-In Conditioner. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and read some claims and then we'll talk about application. So it says, Frizz Wiz is a moisturizing leave-in conditioner, detangler, and curl definer designed to smooth the cuticle and enhance thick, curly, textured hair patterns. A whiz at taming the frizzies. And it just says, after washing hair, evenly distribute gener generously and work through strands with a wide tooth comb. I did not use a wide tooth comb. I ain't need all that. <laughs> and then for the ingredients, it says cuticle smoothing ingredients, distilled water infusion of slippery elm, Irish moss, cetyl alcohol, BTMS, sodium sterile lactylate, beet sugar, cellulose gum, citronium chloride, panthenol, and phthalate free fragrance. Um, very simple ingredients, but ingredients that I love. I really like Irish moss. I love that there's slippery elm in here as well. So first things first, I love the smell of it. It has like a light, I don't know if you guys have smelled the um, lavish leave-in conditioner, but it smells very similar to that. Not exactly like that, but it smells very similar. It's it's fruity, but there's like a freshness to it. It's kind of odd, but very satisfying. So the first thing I noticed about this leave-in is that it is much thicker than the Slip and Slide Not Proof Hair Glide. Um, I did do a video using that, and I found this one to be much thicker, and I actually prefer that thicker consistency. Um, this coated my strands very well. It had a nice slip. Now, obviously, the slip on this is nothing compared to the slip on the slip and slide not proof hair glide. Um, but I preferred the way that this kind of stuck to my strands and coated my strands. I, I could feel the instant moisture. I could see um, the shine coming into my curls and I did feel like it was defining my hair. I show you guys a couple of times in the clips just from me applying the leave-in, I could see the poppage coming in. And I do appreciate that in a leave-in conditioner. I do like having a leave-in that's going to do a little bit of styling. I don't know, I just feel like it kind of enhances the curls, gives me a longer lasting finish. I love the moisture on this. And because of this, I actually think I prefer it over the Slip and Slide Not Proof Hair Glide. I like how thick it is. I like that there is some extra emollients to it. You still get satisfying slip from it, um, but it's it's just not that like detangling leave-in property. Overall, I found that this is more than enough moisture for me and my curls. Um, Trinity Girl Natural, she really likes this leave-in conditioner. I've seen her talk about Frizz Wiz a lot. And I see why, because it is definitely in that kind of like emollient, creamy, just giving your curls some extra love and TLC kind of situation. So I really like this Frizz Wiz leave-in conditioner. I felt like it was a perfect base. Um, and I definitely see why they suggest putting this underneath their stylers, because I feel like this is a good prep pretty much for any styler that you want to use with it. Moving on to the star of the show. 
the Sprung Coil Boosting Jelly. So Sultanical Sprung Coil Boosting Jelly provides a great curl definition without the shrinkage. Works great for twist outs, coils, wash and goes, and edge smoothing. Perfect for kinks that shrink. Crunch free curl definition, medium to strong hold, frizz control, clumps, and elongates curls. So I made it a point to show you guys this in the clip because in the instructions it says, apply sprung evenly in sections to very wet hair to reduce frizz. And upon seeing the texture of this product, the texture is, it's like a whipped jello. It's kind of hard to explain. It is a thicker consistency and God, it smells, it smells so good. It, it smells so nice. It's, it's delicious. Um, it has a thicker consistency and upon just feeling it in my hands, I was like, yeah, it needs to be applied to wet hair. And I absolutely suggest that so you can see. I didn't just wet my larger sections. I, I wet like each smaller section. Like I really sprayed it down with water and then I applied the gel. This gel just, ugh, I, I cannot. This jelly is so nice in terms of its application. So it goes on very thick in the hair. It really does clump your curls together. If you are someone that likes that really clumped defined look, this is definitely going to be for you. This immediately clumps your curls together, but even though it's a thicker consistency, it applies very smoothly to the hair. Um, this isn't something that is going to cause like that cobweb kind of situation at your roots or anything like that. I hate products that do that. This does not do that. Um, it clumps without tangling, which is so, so important for a styler. Um, and I did find that it was actually causing a little bit of elongation to my hair, which is something that I wasn't necessarily expecting. You don't really get that from a lot of jellies. Upon applying this, the one thing that I will say is that um, trust your instincts when it comes to the amount of product that you need in terms of don't apply too much. Apply a little bit at a time, and when it kind of feels like it's seizing up, add more water, add some warm water to it, and I think that you will be fine. You really don't need a lot of this product because it coats the strands so well. And I don't feel like this is one of those products where the more you apply, the better the hold. Like, I just don't see that happening. So don't go too heavy with this. I didn't have to use a ton of it at all. So I was able to apply this to my entire head without any issues. Um, really smooth application. The smell was amazing. And I really liked how my curls looked wet. Um, this was one of those wash and goes where I felt like I knew I was going to love the wash and go before anything dried. Um, just the way that my curls were clumping, the shine that my curls had, like they were just so shiny. And you can kind of see in the clip of my wet hair compared to how my hair usually sets when I finish doing my wash and goes. Like you guys usually see with my wet results once I'm all done, my hair's already starting to shrink back up. It took a couple of hours for my curls to start shrinking. Oh, and I forgot to um, read off the ingredients to you guys. So um, this does have distilled water infusion of nettle, saw palmetto and horsetail. Pro, pro vitamin B5, wheat germ oil, jojoba oil, cellulose gum, sodium lactate, sodium carbamer, ginseng, phthalate free fragrance, um, and potassium sorbate. So this has really, really nice ingredients. So I went ahead and I just let my hair air dry like usual. And these are the final results. So my roots weren't completely dry, which is typical for most of my wash and goes. Um, but you can see definition popping. A lot of my curls are still clumped and I've just chosen not to unclump them. I'm just going to let them be, but you can see that consistent definition around my head. And I'm just gonna turn around so you can see the back. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, I did have a very heavy cast on my hair. I was surprised. Um, even though clearly it really clumped my curls, really kept them kind of gelled together, I had a pretty heavy cast on my hair. But <laughs> after scrunching everything out, my hair is super duper soft. Now, this is the kind of softness that I like in the summertime. It's not that kind of soft where I can already feel the moisture in the hair just seeping in, seeping into my strands and I can feel my hair getting wet. That's not what's happening here. It's just like a nourished, a nice soft nourished feeling. Even though my hair is very soft, I feel like it's still maintained the definition. This is a very like soft, kind of airy wash and go. So I wanna go back over the claims of each product just to kind of show you guys where everything measures up. So for the Frizzways, it says it's a moisturizing leave-in conditioner, detangler, and curl definer that's designed to smooth the cuticle and enhance thick, curly, textured hair patterns. So the moisture, yes, I find this to be very moisturizing. I do find this to be more moisturizing than the Slip and Slide, which is the only leave-in that I have used from them. So this is my second <laughs> my second shot at their leave-ins um I do find this to be very moisturizing my curls feel plump if that makes sense they're moisturized but they are not heavy they're not greasy um just like that nice touchable moisture that I think a lot of us like to feel in our curls as far as the detangling goes I would not use this as a detangler. I would make sure that my hair was already detangled before putting this in my hair. Not that it doesn't have slip because I do find that this does have some slip, but this is, I wouldn't call this a detangler. I think that it is just a little too thick to really be considered a detangler. It's not gonna knot up your hair or anything. I just feel like Slip and slide is a detangler, you know, like if you wanted to use slip and slide as a um, pre-poo, like you could totally do that. That is how slippery that is. This isn't even close to that in terms of slip. So um, for me personally, I don't find this to be a detangler. I feel like this is best applied to hair that is already detangled. Um, a curl definer, absolutely. I found that this was already defining my curls before I had even put any other products on top of it. So I totally agree with that. And then um, it's designed to smooth the, cur the cuticle, absolutely. My curls were nice and smooth before applying the leave-in conditioner. And I could already see like my hair wasn't completely frizz free, but it had knocked out a lot of the frizz that my hair had had from just kind of you know, I filmed, I filmed Self Care Sunday and I was sitting there with my hair just like drying and I was talking to you guys. That created a little bit of frizz and it did calm some of that down. So I, I find pretty much almost all the claims to be true on this. The only thing I don't like about this is this label. I'm hoping she changes the label on these because it's like one of those paper labels. It's not like this one where it's like coated. Um... And so that was part of the reason why I wanted to go ahead and read the ingredients on this because after a couple of uses, I'm, I'm not going to be able to see them. They're already smearing and everything. Um, and then too, I'm just the type of person, like I hate touching papery things with pruny fingers. Like, I don't know. Like it's, you know how like the nails on the chalkboard kind of thing, that's how I feel about like wet fingers and paper. It just makes my teeth hurt. <laughs> Like, like, I'm not even joking. Like, that may be, like, a weird thing, but that's just how I feel about it. So, I'd love to see a label change on this, um, which I feel like a lot of products that I've gotten from Sultanicals, I just want to see label changes. Like, some of the labels on some of the bottles I have don't fit the bottles. Um, some of the things are covered up, so I feel like the ingredients fit the price. I just want to see the fa the packaging, like, reflect how great the product is, you know what I mean? So that's my only like critique on this. Um, it definitely needs a label change. Um, and then the sprung coil boosting jelly. So perfect for kinks that shrink. I do agree. Now, do I have shrinkage? Yes, 
The one thing I'm noticing is that my curls are definitely more downturned than they usually are. Usually when my hair dries, it definitely like is more out <laughs> than it is down. And I think that it did about as close of a job as any gel or jelly is going to do at elongating my curls. Um, I mean, usually with the jelly, I would be sitting at about here. Typically, I'd be at about my ears. And a lot of my hair like is touching my shoulders. So shockingly, I do think that this does to an extent help with shrinkage. It's only going to help so much, you know, like curls shrink that's just a given but I do think that there is something about this that does help to give you just the slightest bit of elongation like I said my curls didn't start shrinking up until like two hours into the drying process so that right there is going to give my curls more of a downturn look just because they didn't automatically just you know so it also says crunch free curl definition absolutely does it dry with the cast? Yes. As soon as you go and break the cast, it's soft. Um, but I do still have a hold though. I would say this is like a medium hold. It's definitely not a strong hold. I think that this will probably last me about three days, which is fine for me. If you're someone that likes to stretch your styles to like every single, you know, once a week washing, I don't know if this would be the product for you. Medium to strong hold definitely like a medium hold I think depending on your curl type this may hold your hair a little bit stronger for me I have super duper tight coils so for me this is not a strong hold like in comparison to like the frozen gel that's a strong hold like that stuff had my hair like stiff and it was cute it was cute but once it was done it was done you know like if you start off with a stiff wash and go I feel like sometimes when your hair starts off stiff, you don't get as much longevity as you would like out of it because once it's stiff, like there's only so much that you can do to that wash and go, like that's it. You trying to stretch it and all that stuff, it ain't gonna be cute, you know? Um, frizz control, definitely. Do I have some places that have frizz? Yes, they're my typical places that have frizz. At this point, I don't usually try to like defrizz them. Like I just let them be them. Um, they're also the places that take the longest to dry. So like right here and like right here, this part is actually still a little bit wet. So I've been touching it. So therefore I have frizz. And then clumps and elongates curls, yeah. This definitely clumps your curls. If you love that clumped look, this is totally like going to be your jam. Like if you love clump curls, you're going to love this, especially if you have really tight coils like I do. Um, for me, it kind of depends. Sometimes I like that bigger, like piecier look. Other times I like that clump look and I am really feeling like how this clumps my hair. And the one thing that I like about this is that it clumps my curls without tangling my curls so those of you that have super duper coily hair know sometimes you clump your curls together and it's like creating tangle city you're just asking for single strand knots this doesn't do that because it leaves the cuticle so smooth like between this and the frizz whiz my cuticle the cuticles are very smooth and so they're not snagging on each other I can very easily pull the coil like pull these pieces apart and they're not frizzing up they're not sticking to each other in an unhealthy way um like it's it's just simple you know so I really do like that I can get a clumped look without having to worry about extra knots extra tangles because sometimes I just avoid um clumping my curls because of that reason like I want I don't want to have that extra knotting at the ends and stuff like that. This doesn't do that. And if I want to separate those little clumps, I can very easily. And like you can see, they're not they're not tangling up together. So I love that. My overall thoughts on this, this is really, really nice. I don't see it replacing anything for me. 
but I like having it. I like having it enough that I'm really considering buying a second one. That's that if that tells you anything. But I will show you guys. Um, I think I I think I showed the inside of the container in that demo. This is where I am. So I didn't have to use a ton of it at all. Like I said, it's one of those um gels where you really do want to kind of use that common sense instinct and if you feel like it's starting to seize up a little bit add more water not more product and I think that you will be fine and I think you will get a lot of uses out of this like I definitely have at least five more uses out of this so probably a good solid six uses that's good for um an eight ounce container like in comparison my coiling custard from curl origin i get about three to four uses out of that so if we're just like comparing something that is in kind of the same realm they have similar ingredients um this one you definitely get a little bit more bang for your buck just considering that you'll probably get a little bit more uses out of that one than anything else what I do love about these is that these are products that don't have glycerin in them and so they're a little bit easier to suggest to you guys. If you have super duper tight coils, if you prefer more of that like soft but well held look, like you like to have hold but you still like your curls to be soft, you still like to have some volume in your hair, the coil boosting jelly is really going to be nice for you. If you're someone who really likes that like flat tame look for multiple days, the coil boosting jelly is not going to do it for you. If you like a little bit more of that like strong crunchy hold, the coil boosting jelly is not going to be for you. Um, but I do think that just about anybody is going to like the Frizz Whiz Curl Defining Leave-In unless there's an ingredient in here that you just don't jive with. I do find that this is probably going to be really nice under multiple stylers. And this is very moisturizing and I think, especially because this is glycerin free, you can pretty much use this year round, which is nice. Um, I think this is the only one that's going to be very like consumer specific depending on what you like your hair to look like, what you like your hair to feel like. I tend to go towards more of the volume with nice definition um, and a nice softer feel. Depending on what you like, this will be an amazing styler for you. But um, I would say if you wanted to try this out and you have a thicker, like more coarse hair type, I would lay this this down as my main styler and then just touch up any frizzy pieces with the frozen gel. And I think that you'll probably get a really nice wash and go just with that combination. And you really wouldn't need a lot of the frozen. I would just like do a light glaze over with the frozen. And I think that you would be able to get the benefits of this with the hold of that because you don't use a lot of that at all. Like, don't slather your hair in that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys, one, for suggesting that I go ahead and use these. You know, I have a lot of stuff. Sometimes it's hard for me to decide. I wanna, I can't slap everything in my head at one time. Um, but I'm, I was happy that you guys picked this because I've been eyeing the Coil Boosting Jelly for like two years. And I'm happy that I finally tried it out. I really enjoy it. They are doing a 4th of July sale today. So today's the last day that you can get 40% off. And I think the code is FIH40. So if you want to try this out, I think they did do a restock on this. Go ahead, pick it up. And any other things that you have been eyeing from Sultanicals. Thank you guys so much for watching and suggesting that I use these products. If you guys want me to do more polls on Instagram to pick these videos, then just let me know. And also, if you guys want me to do like a follow-up video for first for first impressions, letting you guys know how I feel about those things down the line, also let me know because I've been thinking about doing that. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!